I'm so proud of my preacher. My preacher. I think y'all did. Because I come in thinking I'm never going to be able to do anything. I had to pray about it. But I don't know why Chase is hiding as he thinks I'm not going to make him show up. <laughs> I want... I want to thank Miss Charlotte because you are you have just come in and you have we have gone through a spiritually dry period in this church. Uh, I mean, it's just been a while, and and we're it feels like we're losing that relationship that this church used to have. And you have worked so hard in so many different things to try and bring us together and try and keep that going and get it built back up. And I really appreciate it. Thanks. Um, but she asked me to do a little devotion, so if it's all right with y'all, I'll read it. Um, in honor of today was where I come from. I wanted to do fellowship. I actually, when I started out, when she first came to me and said that she wanted a devotion for today, I said, I, you know, I thought, well, I'm going to talk about craftsmanship. And I'm going to go into all the little details that went into the building of the covenant of the ark and that, that went into the tabernacle. I mean, he put them, I want this many cords of blue in this particular curtain. The veil has to be made just a certain way. This screen is... They use this many pounds, of, and I'm like, my kids were like, that is going to be so boring. <laughs> Don't do that to these people. So I did, not I, I toned it down, and now it's about fellowship. So bear with me. <coughs> the scripture I chose was Hebrews 10, 24, and it says, And let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works. With today's festivities in mind, let's, this scripture, let's break that scripture down. Let us consider one another. What does that mean, to consider? According to Webster's definition, it means pay attention to, think carefully about, make allowances for, or regard someone or something. We're all going through at least one something. And in the midst of your something, you are loving enough to come here today and join with us. As, a, as your Christian sister... Let me be the first to say thank you for coming and refilling my spiritual cup that gets dry. It gets real dry. Ooh, like you can blow dust off of it. <laughs> you may not have you may not have even realized that the, as a representative of God, you were considering my needs automatically. Your arms are his arms, and when you embrace me with loving hugs, Likewise, my arms are his arms, and we wanted to hug you today. The next part of that scripture says, in order to stir up love. What do you think about when you hear that phrase, to stir up love? Imagine our paintbrushes stirring around in the paint. As you stirred the brush to mix the paint, or you rinsed it off, or I hope you gave it a little extra twirl today. And I want you to think about, every time we did that, we were just letting the fragrance of love just walk through this room. So everybody just take a deep breath. <sighs> Get you some of that love. <laughs> Have you ever heard someone... Oh, and the final part of that scripture is, and good works. Have you ever heard someone say, beauty's in the eyes of the beholder? It's true. As you look around, you are no doubt amazed at the talent by your brother's brother and sister. He's there. He's here. I want to make sure. You look around and you're like, oh, yours is beautiful and yours is beautiful and yours is beautiful. I mean, you look at Heather's and I am blown away at how gorgeous that is. And all the other colors, and they all just look so great. And then I look at mine and I'm like, yeah, okay. But let's don't do that. Let's don't do that today. Because you are a child of God and he is already so proud of you. You're his hands. He fellowshiped with you as you painted today. His love for you is mixed into every brushstroke. He already sees his work in what he has made. You, and it's good. Thanks. <laughs>